A Wyoming City employee arrested after crashing his truck. Witnesses say that there was a marijuana bong inside. At 5, we broke the news that he's facing drug paraphernalia charges. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen's talking with police about why it took a couple of days to arrest the guy. Tom? Well, good evening to you, Brian. We still don't know the name of the driver here. That information not being released as of yet. But what we do know is that he is on unpaid administrative leave from here, the Wyoming Department of Public Works. We watched him slowly come and crawl up across this curb. He kept going and drove right through the fence right there. Matt Sinkovich saw the whole thing happen. He says he and a friend went to check on the man after the crash. When they got to the city of Wyoming truck, they smelled marijuana. A minute later, my friend pointed out, hey, your bong is on the floor there, the bottom of the truck. And he looked down and went, oh, and he covered it with his foot and put it in drive and took off down the road. Witnesses took this picture of the truck driving away, then called police. In a normal hit and run accident, when a plate is provided, like a registration to the vehicle, we're able to determine quickly who the driver is. In this case, uh, the officers had to first determine who may have been driving that vehicle. The crash happened around 6 o'clock Monday night at the corner of Marquette and Burlingame. Once police identified the driver, they went to his home, but he didn't come to the door. We did make several attempts uh, to talk to him, and today we were able to make contact with him, and he was um, arrested and then released. Least. Because of that delay, police may never know if the driver was high when the crash happened. When the time lapse there, he was inside of his home and we would have to be able to prove that nothing occurred inside of the home in terms of consuming alcohol or, or drugs. This can't happen. This is just wrong. So hopefully he's fired and can't happen again. Now, both those charges he faces are misdemeanors. Again, he was arrested and released from custody today. He is due back in court next week. Live in Wyoming, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8.